Hello, so I actually wanted to come on today. This will be really quick, really brief, or it should. Um, but I just have a couple things. The first, and by the way, this should speak to any believer, okay? Any believer. Let's put our differences aside. Let's just agree that if you believe Jesus is king and he died on the cross and rose again, we are same team, okay? You and I. So I have to tell you about yesterday. I wanted to come on and just encourage you because I believe that we are going to be able to tap in to new gifts as believers. So as we started 2021, I came up with the word aligned and I told the Lord, listen, I want to be aligned with you. I want to be aligned with what you're doing. I want to be aligned with every step I take personally, professionally. Like when I speak, I want to I want to ask you every time. Okay. So yesterday I wake up and, and you know how you kind of like you wake up, not really suddenly in the morning, you kind of like slowly wake up. Well, I'm in my slow wake up and I have the strongest impression. Now you might think that this is crazy, but I just want you to roll this around as a believer. And I want to come into agreement with other believers and speak this out and proclaim it as truth. Okay. So here's what happened. I'm in this like slow start to get up, right? And, and I'm just, I'm still laying in bed. And I had an impression, the strongest impression. Now I wanna tell you real fast that I don't actually consider myself prophetic. My man can get words for individuals and they are spot on. He has the gift of prof prophecy or prophetic, okay? I've never seen that as my gift, but I actually am starting to ask the Lord if maybe I've been the one hindering those gifts. If I've been the one who's actually seen that as an upper limit, if you will, instead of just blasting through and allowing him to use me prophetically. So I'm laying there and my slow wake up and I have this impression about 30 days from now. Now, I don't like to put timelines on things, right? But in my impression, it felt like a month. It felt like a month away and I saw all the fear gone. I saw, I saw people all throughout. Whoa, that was weird. The lighting. I saw people everywhere. We were in stores. We were out and about. We were completely, I wasn't the only one with teeth. If you know what I mean, there was no fear anywhere. There were smiles. There were people connecting. There were people actually bringing back humanity, society, love, compassion. Now, I'm not saying that y'all who are watching this don't have love and compassion, but how many of you feel like when we are out in public right now, it's like robots. Like if you even make eye contact, which is few and far between, it's, it's almost like we're all just against each other right now. Instead of just being society, community, and so I had the strongest impression that about a month from now, again, I, uh, I'm doubting myself saying, Lord, should I be putting this timeline on it? But it felt like a month. It was a month and all the fear was gone and, and smiles were back and happiness was back. And it was, it was amazing. Okay. And so I, if that resonates with you, I want you to come in agreement with me in prayer because you know what? No matter what you believe about the current circumstances of what's going on, whether it be COVID or masks or what have you, God is not the God of fear. All fear is gone when you know who he is and you know how he loves and you know how he calls and you know how he speaks. And by the way, God is speaking. And let me touch on that because again, this is all yesterday, which is why I just had to come today. I was so jazzed. So all morning I was just doing life, right? I was, I was cleaning or I was doing dishes or I was doing children or whatever. And the Lord kept putting a specific prophetic voice on my radar. And he said, Amber, you have got to reach out to this person and encourage encourage him. You've got to reach out to this person and encourage him. And he told me exactly what I was to say. And I'm not going to lie to you. Like I was like, he doesn't know me. He has like, there's no way he would know me. Right? Like, Lord, this seems kind of far fetched. He would not leave me alone. The Lord would not. So while I had heard it all morning and I thought about picking up my phone and doing it right then, I actually answered the call around 3 PM and I just messaged him. And I said, here's the thing. You have been on my heart all morning, the Lord will not leave me alone. So I am honoring him by messaging you. And I just want to tell you that when the Lord spoke to you that day, when you were walking in the woods and you saw that massive tree that was fallen over and you said that that root system was about to be exposed and about to be exposed big time. I just want to let you know that that is truth. Hold the line. It's coming. God is good. Okay. I just sent that off. It was about 3 p.m. yesterday. I mean, I could show you screenshots if you need proof. 
last night. I was on my phone. I was doing all the things. I'm trying to keep up with y'all's messages. I so appreciate, like, I, I love it. Y'all are digging. Y'all are searching. Some of y'all are, like, even ahead of me on stuff. It's so great. And I'm on my phone, and I see him start to blow up his page. And he goes, y'all, I cannot get out of my own head. The Lord keeps reminding me of the time that I walked in the woods, and I saw the massive tree, and I saw the root system, and I said... Everything is going to be exposed. Yes, it will feel like we're watching a movie, but everything will be exposed. And he just kept putting post after post after post about this. And then he posted his word from before. And then he went live and he prophetic, not prophetically, he proclaimed and repented and said, you guys, I'm so sorry that I took my word back. I know what things look like right now, but you know what? The Lord said what he said. And while prophets are being beat up because they all are second guessing themselves, not all, by the way, I don't know why I have this immense faith, but I have not wavered. I have an immense faith. And here is where whether you believe in what I believe will come to pass or not, again, as a believer, let's you and I just unite right now and say, whatever you have ordained, Lord, whatever it is that God has ordained, may it come to pass. Because if you are a true believer and your heart is open to him and your mind is open to him and you want him to speak to you and you believe that he is good and you believe that he is sovereign, is there any other prayer to pray? He has an ordained plan. Why would we want anything else but that? And so I just want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today that when I started 2021, and I know you probably see me as a big personality. You probably see me as somebody who's bold. But does that mean that I have arrived? No, I prayed for more boldness. I said, Lord, I want to answer the call whenever you speak. And yesterday, maybe I should do my own repenting. I felt the Lord talk to me. I felt him to tell me to reach out around 9 or 10 a.m. I didn't do it till 3 p.m. Lord, I pray I would answer the call right when, right when. Because you speak and things are moving so fast right now. And so if you are a believer right now, I want you to ask the Lord, I want you to ask him to start speaking to you. I want you to ask him to, to really fine tune your gifts. I want you to ask him to be clear about who you are and how he sees you. Because enough, I have told myself for so long, I'm not prophetic. And yet, do you know what? Do you know how many times I have spoke and then the Lord confirms through other people or other things? Free friends, like what is, oh, like I'm totally joking, by the way. It's just bad lighting. But this is what I want for the church. Come alive. If you see yourself as a believer, don't be sitting on the sidelines. Be the remnant church that is seeking and searching and proclaiming and prophesying and getting bold. Because the world is lost and it is about to be more tumultuous. I don't know how much longer I will have Facebook and I don't know how much longer I can go live. And I saw somebody do something last night it was super smart. They went live and they answered questions throughout. Now, do I know everything? Oh my goodness, friends, no. But I almost wonder if we could set up a time, maybe even tonight, we have church uh, this evening, because guess what? Churches were closed. And I knew during this March and April madness of 2020, that is the last thing churches should be. And so we started our own church in May. We started our own church and we have been gathering and we have been speaking into lives and lives have been spoken into us because the church should arise like never before and the church should be emboldened like never before. And you, if you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you better recognize you have a calling in these days and you better recognize that you have been born for such a time as this and you better recognize that there are no mistakes. God is sovereign. He has ordained a mighty and powerful plan and I am praying not because I wanna be right, but because I want his will to be done right here in my life, in my home, in my city, in my state and in my nation. So no wonder, do not wonder who is in control in the next week or two. Things may look nuts like never before, but you better believe he is up to something. He is up to something so that you can sit back in awe of who he is and you can say, whoa, only but God. All was lost. All was hopeless but God. And so yesterday, 
was exciting. And honestly, I could have so many stories more for you, but I wanted to keep this short. I wanted to keep it an encouragement. I wanted to speak to any believer out there, no matter if you're in my politics, align or not. It, let's align with him. Isn't that what being a believer is all about? Let's align with him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He has the final say. He is sovereign. He is in control. He is about to blow our minds. And may the church recognize their role. Because it's time you better armor up. You better recognize that nobody else's opinion or approval matters. I have an audience of one. I have an audience of one and he speaks to me and he's a good, good father. I pray you have a blessed day and I pray you rise up in your gifts and I pray you ask him for a new boldness and an absolute clarity and you walk in your gifts and your talents that he has given you because we were created for such a time as this. And I wouldn't choose any other time to be alive.